Well, folks, Carrie Lake loses again because that really seems to be the only thing that Carrie Lake is good at is just losing, 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 losing elections, losing court cases, just losing across the board. But this past week, Carrie Lake was shot down by a uh, Maricopa County judge in Arizona as Carrie Lake was trying to get a defamation lawsuit against her dismissed. The lawsuit was filed by Maricopa County recorder, Stephen Richer. Now, Mr. Richer, I've mentioned his name before is the man that Carrie Lake alleged, you know, sabotaged <laughs> the tabulators you know, with those 18 inch ballots, they're, they're the wrong size. And so he sabotaged them. And then according to Carrie Lake inserted 300,000 illegal ballots. So she absolutely defamed this guy. And he's a Republican, by the way, like he's on your side, but she went out there, made all these outrageous claims about him for over a year, accusing him of being the one abusing his power in his position to sabotage her, uh, uh, gubernatorial campaign. Obviously that's going to hurt Mr. Richard. That is going to cause real damage to him, both in his job and his personal life. So he files the defamation lawsuit. Carrie Lake has her legal team go to court and say, Hey, we can totally prove all these things we've said. So there's no defamation. Dismiss the case, please. And the judge said, no. In fact, here's what the judge said. Uh, defendant Lake's statements regarding improper 19 inch ballots and, or the existence of 300,000 fraudulent balance, uh, ballots may be discerned by a fact finder as either true or false when considered in the light of any available evidence. These statements constitute assertions of fact that are actionable under prevailing Arizona law. So the judge actually did a good job of not ruling on any of the merits of the case. He just said, listen, you made statements of fact, maybe you can prove them. Maybe you can't, but under Arizona law, because they have not yet been proven, even though you've had multiple times in court to prove all these things and you failed every single time, but maybe you can still prove them. Um, but under Arizona law, you said these things, you haven't proven them yet. Therefore he can sue. You want to prove them in my court, come and prove them in my court and you'll win the case. Like it's that simple. We don't need to dismiss it. This is actually what lawsuits are for. It's not just immediately saying you did it, pay this man money. It's okay. He says you did this. You say you didn't come on into court. Both cases make their sides, but Republicans don't want to ever do that because they know they don't have a case. Now, Carrie Lake's lawyer actually came out and she made this statement she said, Carrie Lake's statements are based on provable facts. Nothing in what she says is incitement. Largely the facts are true. <laughs> so first of all, she's like, largely the facts are true. So she's not even saying like everything is true. She's like, a lot of it is totally true. So you're already admitting some of it's not, but again, can't help but wonder if Carrie Lake has evidence to prove any of this, why didn't she bring it up any of the time that she's been in front of the lower courts, the appellate courts and the Arizona state Supreme court? Cause she's been in front of all of them. If you add them all together, no fewer than eight times, eight. And not once did she ever prove any of these claims. So eight times in court to prove it, but never being able to prove it in that court kind of tells me that Mr. Richer here is probably going to walk away a much richer man once this case is finalized.